I'm back, literally seven hours before I have to go to bed, and if I go to sleep, this video isn't going to get made. So let's just slam out an easy one. I don't know if I have anything new to say about this poster, but who knows, maybe I do, and if not, hopefully I can get everything interesting into one video. First up, the thing that everyone notices. At the top, Armada Optimus Prime. When they said that the prototype they showed off all those years ago wasn't really a prototype, I knew they were lying. I hope this turns out good. I was all about this version of Prime when I was a kid, though I did always hate the full engine truck mode. Optimus is just so much more iconic as a flat face cab. And I expect that this will probably be a commander class. There's always a chance that they say screw it to the trailer combining gimmick, but who knows. Next up, everyone is excitedly pointing out the animated space bridge in the background, saying that it probably means this line is going to have animated figures in it. I'd say that yes, there is a serious chance of that, but I wouldn't be shocked if they show up in the line after Legacy. Sometimes they like to tease stuff coming later. Why the hell does Leo Prime have a braid? So here's my question about these Dinobots down here, because the picture of them implies that they are really big compared to the other figures in the line. Are these just a reference to the Legend Boys we've already seen, or is this Mayhaps teasing a re-release of the 86 figures in this line? We can hope, right? Though Swoop is red. Disgusting. One thing that strikes me about the giant centerpiece with the semi-tarn mask looking thing is just how tribal it looks. Feels like a Pacific Island war mask, or like a tiki. I wonder if that's meant to imply something in the narrative of the line. Now this may be just me, but does it look like this planet right over Armada Prime has either a circular hole in it or something? Maybe like Unicron's mouth? I hear that people are really hoping that the muscle car off to the left side is locked down, but if you really look at it, it looks a lot less like him than you should really expect. I mean, maybe they're just being really honest to the new toy, or maybe the artist is taking liberties with the design. But at the same time, why would Lockdown be riding with the Junkions? I'd be willing to put money on this being just another Junkion who may or may not be getting retooled out of Lockdown, but probably not. I'd say chances are good that this is just a similar design because the Junkion aesthetic is Ramshackle and Slapdash, where they grafted whatever spiky shit they wanted to onto themselves, and Lockdown did much the same. Speaking of the Junkions, if this artwork isn't just full on line like a lot of the Kingdom artwork did, and these are all the designs that are actually going to show up in the line, it looks like we are going to be getting a pretty diverse army of them, and they are going to be weaponizers as they should. Obviously there's going to be Scrap Hook, but it seems that there's going to be at least one kind of motorcycle Junkion, if not two, because the guy on the right is riding what looks to be a very different bike than the one strapped onto the front of Scrap Hook, or riding alone with a sidecar. If you ask me, it actually looks like the guy riding on the back of Scrap Hook. If you look, he's got tons of pipes on his wrists, which are a prominent feature on the underside of the other bike, and his wrist guards look like the front of the motorcycle. Plus, this one here doesn't have the tire guard, so I expect it to not be the same bike. My best guess is that there are two motorcycles, and maybe one of them won't be a weaponizer. And the guy on the left is the one the guy on the right is riding, while the guy on the right is probably the other three motorcycles we are seeing in this image. Then we seem to be getting confirmation of Bombshell and Shrapnel. Though, who is this? It both looks like Shrapnel and nothing like him at the same time. I assume that they aren't making up a new Insecticon, but who knows, maybe this is Ransack and they're just teasing one of their future repaints. The Nemesis and the Corkscrew ship are in the upper right corner, but I sincerely doubt they will have any real presence in this line. Unless Hasbro feels like pulling an arc and giving the Nemesis a robot mode in Titan class, I don't think this will be anything more than just flavor for the poster. Hopefully, if they do make the Nemesis into something you can actually buy, it will either be a fully fleshed out vehicle, unlike the arc, or maybe if they went the transforming route, they could actually this time, you know, make it good? Who would it be though? I guess they could just go with Trypticon, that at least has precedent in the High Moon games. But, just as I wanted the arc to be Vigilum, I think it would be pretty sweet if the Nemesis was Lodestar. That would just be so tragic. Official Lightbright figure when? Fun fact, my brother always thought the Corkscrew ship was called Gipstare, because in the movie when they ask Wheelie for a ship, he says, Give Stare over there. Which, without subtitles, is both just mangled enough and also doesn't make sense readily that it seemed logical to him. Don't know why Laser Prime is on this one considering he already came out. I swear if they re-release him. I swear if they re-release him with all those tacky stickers he was supposed to have. And then his combined sword has always looked bad and dumb, but this takes it to another level. Then there's the third Skids repaint who I just don't care about. Or I guess what with the crankcase, this is going to be the fourth. I feel like by the time I get crankcase, I will have had my fill of this mold. And I think that's about it, right? I mean, outside of going around trying to figure out what each planet we are seeing in the background is, there's really nothing more to analyze at this point. And those planets may not even be anything at all, just detail included for fun. But I suppose, let me know if there's anything I really missed out other than Needlenose and his stupid Target Masters just existing. Sorry for the short one, but there is only so much information to this poster. Actually, since pictures of Hound and Hatchet just dropped, I can give you guys a little more with this one and have it help combat my curse. Who knows, maybe after I do this, we will get even more news the next day. Hound looks pretty good. He's obviously the Siege Mold, but done in the Earth style. I think they could have probably stood to work on the feet a little more, but I expect this to be good. Though, honestly, I find this version a lot less compelling than the normal War for Cybertron one. It just looks more boring, and the green of the render looks pretty ugly. I like the much darker olive of the original figure from several years ago. The gun seems fine, but the shoulder cannon looks kinda shitty. Happy to get this, but I'm not chomping at the bit for it. 
Now for Hatchet, I've seen some people salivating over this thing. And I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And this isn't just me hating on movie figures. This thing looks like actual shit. This had better be a Legends figure because otherwise, what the fuck? Look at that backpack. That might be the most heinous thing I've ever seen. Because while yes, it's on the figure's spine, the figure's spine is on top of the toy. So it's literally a huge tower of barely condensed kibble. It's the entire truck mode stacked on top of itself. The head looks like a cartoon character and it seems like it poses like shit. I literally can't express how awful this thing looks, and the only way it's excusable is if this is a core class. If this is even a deluxe, get the fuck out with this nonsense. I literally can't understand why people are excited for this when Authentics figures look better. Anyways, that's not half what I have to say, but it's enough what I have to say. And I know, you know, what everyone else tells you to do at the end of these videos. So, if you liked what you saw here, please do that. And, if you'd like to take it a step further, then please, share this video with any friend you think may be interested. I hope you all enjoyed listening to me waste your time.